Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio, and I was just editing up my video on the new Sword and Shield news. And I went and got all of the assets and the official screenshots, as I tend to do, and they slipped in the first ever images of Pokemon Sword and Shield cards. Just kind of casually slipped them in there, like we wouldn't notice. Oh, I noticed, ladies and gentlemen. I noticed, and I'm afraid the video game stuff is going to have to wait for a moment. We have got our first ever images of Pokemon Sword and Shield cards, and I, for one, am beyond delighted. We've got two each of the first partner Pokemon, but let's start with Zacian and Zamazenta, shall we? Now, what we have here is Zacian V and Zamazenta V. Now, I don't think these are complete cards. I think we have some, but not all of the image. There is some unknown thing going on here. We do not have the complete information. Now, as it stands at the moment, both of these cards have no attack cost, no retreat cost, no weakness, no resistance. And it might be that they have no attack cost. Now, I don't believe that personally, but remember, these are new Sword and Shield cards. They're going to have new mechanics. There are things about Sword and Shield in the Pokemon trading card game that we do not fully understand at the moment, all right? These are not free attacks. If they were free attacks, they would have the symbol for free attacks. But they don't. Maybe this is a new thing in Sword and Shield. We don't know. And the attacks are exactly what we thought they were before. Zacian can do 230 but can't attack next turn. And Zamazenta can do 130 while discarding a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. There is no information here that we didn't know before, except for the hit points. The hit points are 220 and 230. Now, the hit points here make absolute perfect sense, because they give up two prizes. And they are basic Pokemon. We, we don't actually know that for certain yet, but we're fairly sure. They are basic Pokemon that give up two prizes. So this is very high in terms of HP for a basic Pokemon, but it's not out and out ridiculous. Waylord EX was a basic Pokemon with 250 HP. So it's not like we've never seen this kind of HP before. Wishy Washy GX comes in at a fairly sizable 210 HP. We've got Guzzlord that comes in again at a fairly beefy 210 HP. So this is extremely high, but it's not unfathomably high. What I will say is the attacks are good. Zacian V has the same attack as Reshiram and Charizard whilst being a two prize Pokemon, and we don't know what the attack cost is. I believe the attack cost has been deliberately omitted from the images that have been made available. I believe that there is an attack cost, and we're not being shown it, but there is a possibility here that there is no attack cost. There is some other mechanic going on that is, at the moment, not being shared with us. We don't know is the honest answer, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know. But we at least have nice, clear images of Zacian and Zamazenta. Now, there's no point dwelling on this for too long, but of course, we did get that teaser at the end of the video shown at the World Championships, showing a free 130 HP Pokemon but then again, we also saw that Zamazenta V has an ability that makes it immune to V Max Pokemon. So again, we, we don't know too much here, but we know that V Max are coming, and we know that that's where the 330 HP comes in. And while we're here, just a reminder, I told you that things like the attack cost had been deliberately left off the card. Well, we know they've got abilities. We were shown them in the world's video, and they've been omitted from the card. 
so why not a bunch of other information? Now, where these actually came from is the Gala Collection. And there are six of these going around. There is a Sobble, where you get one of each of the three first partner Pokemon and Zamazenta, along with a pin. And a second set, where you get the other Legendary. Now, there are actually two each of Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this artwork we've got at the moment is not completely correct. I would imagine that one of the Sobble gives you Zacian and one each of the starters, and the other one gives you the other Legendary and the other starters. If we head over to the Grookey collection, again, we've got two of them, both of which show the same three starters although they are different to the ones from the Sobel collection, and one has Zamazenta, one has Asium. And then if we go over to the Score Bunny collection, we are back with the slightly different of the three, kind of a mix of the previous two, and there's a Zacian and a Zamazenta. It certainly looks like, no matter which one you choose, you get a pin, Zacian or Zamazenta, but both the Score Bunny have the same three promos, both the Sobble have the same three, and both the Grookey have the same three. But they are not necessarily the same. It's a little bit weird and a little bit messed up, but that's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it is. So, these promo cards. We should probably have a look at them, shouldn't we? We'll start off with Sobble, because Sobble is the best. There are two different Sobble cards that you can get, ladies and gentlemen. And the first thing we need to point out here, these do not look exactly like Sun and Moon cards. So if we take a Poplio, for instance, because, you know, water first partner Pokemon from Sun and Moon, we can see that there are some differences. Now, I'll be honest with you, they're, they're, they're pretty similar as far as things go. The basic is ever so slightly different it's a little bit more slanted and if we look at the part of the card that gives you the information like your height your weight etc it's a slightly more rounded way of doing things and it's got those little i want to say silver bits on either end they're a little bit fancier and then by the same token if we go to the bottom and we have a little bit of a look We've got still weakness, resistance, retreat, but we've got that same kind of slightly rounder, slightly slanted, silvery, metally bits at either end kind of style. The one thing that really jumps out to me as new and different here, between the set symbol and the set number, and incidentally confirmation that there are 202 cards in the first Sun and Moon set, because you'll notice one of these is actually from the set, and one of these is a promo. There is a D. Now, Japan has actually been doing this on its cards for a little while, and it basically denotes when the card came out and what block they fit into for rotation, etc. It looks a lot like they might be doing this over here. So, we have a new design of card. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, right? We're not going to learn a huge amount from looking... A uh, 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 first part of the Pokemon basic cards. So Sobble, we got a 60 and a 70 HP Sobble going on here. And the attacks are fine. One of them does 10 damage for one energy, 20 damage for two. The other one does 20 damage, flip a coin, if heads, paralysis. The 60 HP one can be searched out with Professor Realm's Lecture, which is quite nice. But the 70 HP one has a bit more HP and won't get knocked out on the bench by Dugong. I'll leave that up to you. And as I'm recording, I have just realized what the deal is. The Sobble collection, either of them, comes with a promo Sobble and set versions of the other two. The Score Bunny collection comes with a promo Score Bunny, no matter which one you get, it's the same promo, and set versions of the other two. And Grookey, either Grookey collection gives you a Grookey promo, the same promo for each, and then set versions of Sobble and Score Bunny. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, that took me a moment to realize. If we have a little bit of a look at Grookey here, 
we've got a 60 HP and a 70 HP. The 70 HP does 10 damage for 1 energy, 20 for 2. Very much like the Sobble did. And the promo has 60 HP and does 30 damage for 2 energy. It's also got phenomenal artwork. And to finish off having a little bit of a look at Score Bunny, once again, the set one has 70 HP, 10 damage for 1 energy, 20 damage for 2. Incidentally, the set versions of all three of these are basically identical. And then the promo has 60 HP, but... 10 damage, 1 fire energy, flip a coin if heads burned. And there's one other thing I've noticed while I'm recording here. There is a fairly pronounced white border around the energy symbols on these cards that we've not seen on the Sun and Moon cards. That's a nice little change there. I'm sure I've missed something in terms of card design, etc. If there's anything you've noticed from these new cards that I haven't, please pop it down in the comment section. It is half past midnight UK time as I finish recording these. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to know what you think about these and give me some predictions for Zassian and Zamazenta. Go nuts in the comment section. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassie, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.